Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd take out my leather backpack from storage and start using it again because I kind of need to be in a few places now because of all of the things that I need to get done. And I'm also more mobile now on account of a new laptop that I can actually bring out and use as a laptop. I have an unboxing of that new laptop on my channel and I will link it down below. Previously, the laptop that I had had a problem with the LCD, which required me to use an external monitor with it all the time. I mean, there was absolutely nothing wrong with a laptop except for the LCD. But that also meant that I could not bring the laptop around with me outside of my bedroom. By the way, that LCD has now been completely replaced. The laptop is as good as new and I have a video about that on my channel as well and I will link it down below. So anyway, I will now be starting to bring around some tech items with me. And when it comes to tech, a backpack is really the best bag to use because tech can get heavy. I do have a 13 inch MacBook Pro now, which is not as heavy as my previous 15 inch MacBook Pro, but it still is heavy and I want to be kind to my back. So I'm going to start using this backpack now on certain occasions. I designed this backpack myself and had it made by Tannery Manila. I have a video discussing all of the features of this backpack and I will link it down below. The leather is super soft still and there is absolutely no cracking and no peeling even after being in storage since around the middle of 2019. And all of the snaps and the stitching and the zippers and the buckles are still perfectly okay. Some parts of the backpack are drier and lighter than others and those are the parts at the top of the backpack because that's where the sun always used to hit it during the day when I was out and about. I've had this backpack since the summer of 2016 and ever since the day I got it I have used it every single day like every single day until the middle of July 2019. I used it for work and school, which is why I have some lanyards here and also for travel. And I even have a couple of videos of what I had inside this backpack before. I will link them all down below. Before using this, I wanted to moisturize the leather because it has gotten a bit dry from what I can see and feel. Still super soft, but dry on some parts, especially at the top of the backpack, like I mentioned. I think you can also see it here in this video. And to moisturize the leather, I will use Nivea cream. Just the basic Nivea in the blue container. Now Nivea cream comes in a few different formulations depending on what country it's manufactured in. And the formula is only very slightly different, very slightly, I cannot even tell really, but this jar that I have is manufactured in Mexico. I have used Nivea cream on this backpack before, video will also be linked down below. But back then, I placed Nivea on this bag and then placed it back into storage. But now, like I said, I need to use this backpack again. And this is just going to be a straightforward process. I'm just going to slather the Nivea cream all over the leather on the outside of the backpack and rub it in gently. I'm going to put globs of the Nivea cream all over. I am not going to measure I am going to put in as much of the Nivea cream as I can onto the surface of the leather and wait for the leather to completely absorb the cream after some time. If you have ever used Nivea on your own skin, you would know that this cream is very, very rich, very thick, and also slightly greasy. And it's really, really quite thick when you put it on. It is not runny at all. But after a few minutes, after you have applied it, it liquefies, it becomes more watery, the cream kind of dissolves, and that is what your skin absorbs. The cream that has already liquefied to some extent. And that's always what happens when I put Nivea cream on my skin, on my face. And that is what I have also observed when I put the same Nivea cream on this leather backpack. And by the way, I do have a bag tag on here that I remember ordering 
separately from Tannery Manila, but uh, it's in the same leather as my backpack. The number, the phone number that's on the tag is no longer the number that I use. That number is not mine anymore. I don't even know if that number still exists. And as we go along, you can see that it looks untidy. The cream is just sitting on top of the surface of the leather, even after I have already rubbed in the cream. But later on, you will see that it's already being slowly absorbed by the leather. I really like this backpack a lot. It has been with me through so much, so many things. I also have a raincoat for this backpack. It is also in storage and I will take that out as well. I no longer take public transportation now, so I no longer have to walk really long distances in the rain under an umbrella when carrying this backpack like I used to do, but I still would use the raincoat because the leather here is not waterproof rainwater can still get into the things inside the backpack. When I designed this backpack in 2016, I was taking into consideration my needs at that time. And even though my needs have changed over the years, like in the three years that I have been using this backpack every day, and even now, I believe I can still use this backpack because it's still pretty basic. I do like the different external pockets. Of different sizes and I like the one giant mall as the main compartment because I have d-rings inside there that I can place an elastic on to create a bungee system so that I can strap pouches and folders and other things and keep them you know anchored to the side of the backpack and I think backpacks really can get us through so much more of the daily grind you know I mean, when worse comes to worst, or when push comes to shove, or when poop hits the fan and all that, even when the zombie apocalypse is already upon us, why would you be running around trying to save your life, carrying a tote or a shoulder bag or a handbag or even a trolley suitcase? Certainly you will be using a backpack, right? You will need both of your hands to be free to carry weapons or something like that. And you cannot have a bag that is slipping and sliding across your shoulders and your arms. But that's just me. <laughs> I'm just being extreme. I tend to invoke the zombie apocalypse anytime I am aware that I'm already being extreme. And I do like tote bags for every day though. It's super convenient to take things in and out of the bag when I'm out and about for errands, which does not happen often, by the way. And I will still continue to use my tote bags, especially the smaller tote, the blue and cream striped one, the Rebecca Minkoff, for when I don't need to bring around my tech related things. I do have a video about that bag and I will link down below. But when I have to be kind of warrior-like in an apocalyptic kind of environment, <laughs> because of my three books July, I will be using this backpack. A video of my three books July will also be linked in the description box. And by the way, I would just like to mention here that leather is heavy by itself as a material. And this backpack is heavy when empty. I mean, while handling it, right now I can feel the weight of it. It's not as light as fabric, of course, but I don't mind. It is worth it, I think, in my opinion. Okay, so now I have already put on Nivea cream all over the entire exterior of the backpack, including the straps. And it looks gloopy and wet and there's a white uh, film over everything. But let me just show you how the leather will absorb everything after a while. Time check, it is now 6 o'clock in the evening. I let the backpack sit on top of the table for almost an hour and here it is now. More of the remaining white film, that's the Nivea cream, have already disappeared. There are still some left in some of the seams and the crevices of the leather, but they will be absorbed completely after a little more time. The leather now feels moisturized and it feels super luxurious. It is still as soft as before, but no longer dry to the touch. I don't moisturize this backpack often and I don't feel like I need a separate leather conditioner. I think using Nivea cream on this once a year or twice a year should be enough. 
I will have a what's in my bag video for this backpack soon so please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you have clicked on the notification bell so that you will get an alert as soon as that video is up. Thanks for watching. Bye.